So good day everyone, welcome to another episode of our training and stay in my dollar graphics. So today we are going to be learning how to use the cap cut app to create videos. So immediately you open your cap cut. So this is the page you will land into. Now for you to create any video, you have to click on this view which is new project. So you click on that. Now when you click on that, you will be brought to this type of place. That is where you will be able to pick the pictures and the videos you want to match. Now the major use of the app code is to match pictures and videos together. And you can also give your videos or pictures new tag. Now let us go into the workspace. So now we're going to be clicking on the pictures we want to use. So I'm going to be using some pictures and I'll be using some videos. Okay, now let us take for example if I'm to use these pictures. Hold on. Okay, I want to use some of the pictures here. So you click on the pictures you want. So it's not necessarily for you to pick pictures from one exact folder. So you see now I've picked two pictures from here. You can go into another folder as well to pick another picture. So I'll pick this. You can pick this as you see that. So you can pick pictures from different parts. So let us assume I want to add a video at the end. So let me look for a particular video I can add. Okay. So let me try to look for videos. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So, I'm trying to look for videos that we can add. So, let's check this. Okay. Okay, so let's add videos from here. So, let us assume I'll be adding this video. So, I already picked like five, okay, four different things. So after clicking on what you want to match together, you click on this icon here which is my add. So you click on add. So after clicking on add, you'll be brought into this place. So you can see this. Now if you remember that I added one video and that video, can you see, it has a sound. So for me to off that sound because I'm going to be adding my own sound, I'll click on this icon here which is mute so i'll click on mute so you will see now that if i go to that place where that video is you can see that i can no longer hear the sound good so now the next thing there are many things we can do here we can add our own sound we can also add effects so let's start by adding effects so we're going to click on this icon here so we'll just be dealing with the major things major aspects of things that are needed so you can see that you click on video effect so you can add different effects to your video so let's wait for that to load so you can see this you can click on any one you want so let us look for a particular one so you can see different effects here that you can use if you want to use it so let's check this one okay so let's use this so for you to be able to click on any effect like for example i'll be using this effect so for you to be able to click on any effect you want to use you click down on that particular one so you click on it so that's it for you to load so you can see that that it already affected the video so you click on this sign okay let's see so it already added that to the beginning of our video. So you can add any one you want. You can add any of this effect. You can add it to the beginning of your design. So you can see different types. You can see them. And this I forget. You need a very good internet connection for this before all this effect to load. So you click on this sign here to mark it as OK. So okay, that's good. Now you can see this that the effect we picked it already added it to the beginning of our video. 
Now if you can see that it is looking like it is taking like more than three seconds for you to show one of these pictures. So if you don't want it to look like that, you can just use your hand to resize the video like this workspace here. Now what you are going to do is to zoom in, not zoom out. If you zoom out, it's going to make it more long. You can see it. When you zoom out, it makes it but when you zoom in, that is you pinch your phone, you pinch it in. You zoom in, you can see that it's making it look more what? More small. Can you see that? So if I play the video, now it's going to reduce the way the video will play. So can you see that? So it already reduced it. So it will make it more fast for it to play. So can you see that? Now it's time for us to add the sound. So you can add sound from... Sorry. Now, there are different ways in which you can add your sound. Now, you click on this part, which is audio. So, or you can see here. So, you can use anyone. You can also see here. You can see add audio. So, you click on it. When you click on it, it's going to take you to where you'll be able to add sound to this video. So, you click on this place, which is sound. So when you click on sound, you'll be able to add sound from the CapCut app itself. So it's going to provide some sound for you that you can use. So let's wait for this to load. Okay, so you can see different sounds here. So if you finish loading, you can pick up any sound. And if you don't want the sound from the CapCut app itself, you can click on this. When you click on this, it's going to automatically take you to the songs on your phone so you, if you click on this from device so you are going to automatically see songs from your phone so if you don't want that or maybe you want a particular sound from a video you have on your phone you can just go into this other part so instead of you clicking on sound you click on extracted so you click on extracted so you can click on any video that has the sound you want to use so let me look for a particular sound i would like to use on this okay so let me click on this so you can see import sound only so you click on this import sound only so let's wait for that okay so it has added it so let us play it okay. so you can see that that already added the sound now you can see that that Now you can see that this sound is like very short for this video so before you put any song you can either like check the length of the sound before you be able to put it or if you know that the sound is short and your video is long you have to cut your video before you be able to add any sound to it so you can see that now for you to be able to cut your video before you you add the music it's very very simple so let's assume i want to start another new editing so i want to go back to that first page okay that's new project so for, let's say for example i'm picking this video and this video so now if i want to cut my video that i want to cut part of the video so you click on that video when you click on that video you are going to look at this part here you can see that which is crop so you click on crop so you'll be able to cut the video to the size you want so can you see that so let us assume i just want this part of this video i'll click on ok so when you click on ok so you can do that so you can see it already changed the duration to just four seconds look at this second one as well you can see this second one is 30 seconds so i want to reduce the duration so when you click on it you click on crop as well so i'm going to reduce it I click on okay so can you see that it already reduced this one to two eight seconds so if you click on add you just see that it already shortened our video for us so let me just show you like this so can you see that that is not the full video now don't forget i told you if you don't need the sound from the video you just click on this mute now let us assume we already designed this video as it is like this and we want to save so you click on this place here you click on 
can load so you can see that it is exporting it so you just wait for it to finish exporting so can you see that so that's all so you just click on done and when you check your gallery you will see your edited video so you can actually use this cap code for your business pictures maybe you want to advertise something or for your student parties maybe you want to match their pictures together to make it look attractive and give it a sound so you can use this cap cut app app to do that so see you in the next class thank you